Where do you start the video on this steep, steep hill? I guess you start it at the crooked house on the edge of the hill. And I don't know if you can see it in this video, but this road is going downhill big time. I'm going to give Mrs. Hey, CW the camera. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, there's no, no road on that side. This must have been heavily damaged by hurricane ring. So here's the camera, Mrs. CW. Mm. I'm trying not to whip it. I'm eating a peach. Well, you can't see Camel's hump from here because I'm facing the wrong way. It's behind us. But actually, it was the best climb. I know I'm a 46er and I've climbed tons of mountains and oh, went to New the, Hampshire. Uh, the brook coming down the hill there but, the waterfall. Whoops, that was a boo-boo. But uh, it was just beautiful. When I got to the summit, there was a rainbow from one mountain top to the other mountain top. Double rainbow? It wasn't double. It went from one, went behind the clouds and to another mount, um, summit. Somebody's there's some definite damage over there. I don't know oh, if you can see. I'm zooming, but I don't know if I can see there. Um, anyways, the colors were amazing, even though it's October 18th. I know. And I went on t to the top without Mr. CW and Mugs because they went part way. They were sauntering. I had I ran down. I did it in record time. It's Sorry. supposed to take up to six hours, and I think I did it in four or three and a half. Anyways, here we are. Somebody lives here. Wonder what it looks like in there. Right. And not focusing because I'm going too fast. Wait, wait, wait. you're going too fast, Mr. CW. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I'd like to get the brook. Oh, See the brook. There's a new bridge. Yep, brand new. That's heavy water, they call it. Heavy water. Anyways, there were mountain streams on the trail, there were brooks, there were meadows, there was birch, you can there were elves. following something and the other direction, and to your right. That way it follows the motion Oh yeah. And the other direction. I'm not a videotaper, Mr. CW is. I'm a hiker, a biker, and a kayaker. And we're coming up to another shack. Yep. Yeah, this one they did some improvements to. We have a little bridge. A bridge and two logs. Yeah. It's not gonna I wonder if it's gonna last for the winter because it's really, well, it's really good. Yeah. Look at all the rocks that come on the side. There's the bridge. Those are all those rocks are all placed there to hold the yeah, bank. Yeah, I river. know. So that yes. bank erodes much further. Down goes the house. And there's the house. Yeah, And there's the privy. I don't know if you can see the outhouse right there with the bridge and the retaining wall. Beautiful fall foliage right alongside a mountain brook. You live beside a brook. So we're going down. Yeah. We move by water. Anyway, <laughs> this is the Camel's road? Hump Road in uh, near Duxbury. Duxbury, that's right. Duxbury. Duxbury. I dragged Mr. CW to New Hampshire yesterday to do a small hike and then in Lonesome Lake and then in the Franconia Notch. We didn't have a lot of time. And then today I dragged him over to Vermont so that we could go to Campbell's Hump. I've always wanted to climb Campbell's Hump. There's a beautiful. Hold on. Yep. Yeah. Please, you can go sideways. I don't think so. 
beautiful colors. Here's another. Now we're getting more populated. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> One house every thousand. Well, still. There's the house there. There you go. Right there. There's a, a real bridge that, with an iron support. There's a house over there. There's a car coming up. Yeah. Oh, they built a little um, people or something down by the river. There's a brook right down there. Over now. I don't know if you can see it, we're driving away from the brook. Okay, there we are. Anyway, we got late fall foliage. And this is the flat roof house. Rubber seam, but no good. So. There we go. That's an earth house. Oh, I'm, it's a foundation. I'm just saying. They're living in a foundation. They're living in the foundation. Okay, which we, the exactly, which is really an earth house when you think of it. Thermal energy from the earth. Here's the brook. This is CW just go down. Get the brook. My purple, well, lavender, iris color. Yeah. There it is. There's that folder. Yeah, hold on, we'll do it. This is 
is a typical thing in the Adirondacks. on the mailbox. Camel's Hump Mountain. Beautiful views. Scrabble Hill. You have to scrabble up that Scrabble Hill. There's some views way off in the distance. <laughs> scrabble Hill. Now the brook is on my side. Crunch to build the arm pill there. They have electricity. Oh, look at the erosion on the edge of that. I don't think that's from high water. Because if it was, <laughs> this house wouldn't be here if the water was that high. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Ripped wide open. Yeah, and the silt just eventually settles out of the water and clogs the stream and how do the fish spawn? All new surroundings. Yeah, this must have been ripping through here during Hurricane Irene. I drove through it. I was in Connecticut. Stopped in Vermont and made my way early in the morning and every time I looked in my rearview mirror I could see the bridges getting washed away because a whole bunch of them A whole bunch of them got washed away after that big storm last September. Dry a couple of years ago, the literary world was a flutter, flushed, you might say, with excitement over the book that became spring. Now, a movie based on the book is getting fans caught in the novel, and there are some reasons that launched the erotic novel onto the bestseller list. With just a few weeks to go before starting Crazy production, the size of the rocks. Man, Amazing those trees are still standing in the middle of the brook. Well, with the water coming down so heavy, I think it would be all full of debris. It acts like a filter. It stops all the trees and rocks. And joining us on the story is Tatiana Siegel of The Hollywood Reporter. 